Okay, hello, my name is Janeth, and I am going to do a PixArt tutorial. Hopefully, I could do this correctly because I don't really use PixArt all that much. But I feel like I can do a thing or two with PixArt. And you'll probably be able to learn a couple of ways to edit on PixArt. We're going to start off with um, going to draw um, blank. For some reason, I always like working um, 900 by 900. So that's what I'm going to put, but you could um, edit however you want. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to make this kind of small. And then I am going to add an image. Oh, not, not there. Um, I'm going to click here on the little picture thing. And then I am going to um, choose a photo. I made a little section, and I am going to make a copy of that. Of an edit I made in for Leonardo, but this time I'm gonna use it here. This is kind of tricky when you use this. You have to make sure you're grabbing this and don't let go until you're you you, you see. Look, okay, I can't touch it no more. So you have to make sure you do it correctly, or else you will kind of lose it, and then you'll have to re-upload the picture again, which is kind of annoying. But what can you do if you don't have a better editing thing? This is what you have to live with. But for now, okay, I'm good. Oh, I put that oh, close. Uh, go back to draw. And then you'll add another. Oh, let me make it small first. It makes it easier for me. Um, so then I'm going to add the other picture, which is this one. And then you're just going to kind of add it in there however best you want. You can't really see all that well, but. You could do a pretty good job, I guess. And then, that's what I want. Oh, did I make it into a new layer? I hope I did. Yeah, I made it into a new layer. So it's a new layer. So now you're going to make a duplicate layer to that layer. So now you see we have a duplicate. But for now, we don't really need the duplicate. Um, so just kind of hide it. And then go back to the one that you want to edit. And then you'll mess around with this. Click over here. Okay, so I'm not sure if you could see where I'm clicking, so hopefully you can. But if not, just follow whatever I am doing. Um, so we're going to take off the hardness to make it kind of soft, and then, oh crap, um, go back. Click on the eraser tool, and then erase. Make it look kind of blended. No. There you go, looks a little better. So now that's when you wake up the other one. And for this one, you have to do a better job at brushing out because, unlike, I'll make sure you're on the erase tool. Um, unlike Leonardo, you kind of have to, oh, well, I guess you, um, when you, no, whatever. You kind of have to do a better job since you kind of don't have a second chance. And then you make a duplicate layer just in case you mess up. Um, okay. So now I am going to start erasing. But I'm gonna try not to erase the hair. And I did. But I'm gonna try not to. Try to do a good job. Let me put it make it more hard then. Oh crap. Go back. Yeah, editing with Pixar might take some practice, but I think you could do it if you just practice a, a good amount. You'll be able to do some wonderful edits using this app. I see some very nice people do edits with this app. It's just like, how? But that's because they practice, and I hardly ever practice on this because I went straight to some paid apps, and that's a pretty good job, I guess. So then you could just kind of merge everything together, as one does. And then you can make a duplicate layer of all that. And you could add screen, so it looks brighter. And then, if you want, you could add another picture to add... Oh, look, first, let me cancel, cancel. Two, there you go. Then I'll add another picture, so I could add like a little effect thing 
and I use this one and then just kind of edit it yep like that and then you can kind of reduce how well you want it um, it looks like a little bit too much than what I wanted but Overlay, darken, light, and multiply screen. Um, I'm not sure if I like it, but you could, if you want, you could go back and add something else, or you could just not add anything and just put check. Um, there's many effects here that you could probably add to it. Like that's a pretty nice effect. I don't know any effect you want. So I kind of like this effect. I'll just keep it for now. Um, you can work on the curves. Add a little more. Add a little bit more blue all up in there. Mhm. Mm the blending could have been better, but with more practice, you could probably do a very good blending effect and just you know make the make the duplicates and the non duplicates and you could kind of end up with something very very good looking but for now you could just test out anything that you like if you don't like it press the x i don't know i i'm not a a big editor in this app but they have some pretty nice effects if you ask me um, border. Nah, I don't want a border. Possibly some. Oh, nice. Oh, I think this is where my friend gets her borders. You could add a little border all up in there. You could do whatever you want. And then, once you're done, you could save it. You could save Pixar. And then you could go to Fonto and then you could add anything you want. I kinda like that effect. And then you can you could add some text. But yeah, you could add your text and all that stuff and just make it look nice.